Welcome to the ADD Catastrophe, the most distracted movie show on the internet. I'm Stephen Witten. And I'm Ryan Ramsey, and we'll be right back after I complete my quest to find the Holy Grail. <laughs> And we're back. It's time for the news. The part of the show where we talk about the, the news. news. First on the docket today is Warner Brothers has announced that they are working on a Dungeons and Dragons movie. Grown men still living in their mother's basements everywhere are rejoicing. Also, we heard that Spider-Man is going to get a fun fight scene in the Captain America Civil War. Instead of just having the cameo, cameo. he looks like he's going to have a more significant role in the film, which is welcomed by me and hopefully all. Yeah, that's right. All right, Stuart Little, that a little that little adorable mouse is getting remade. Um, it's in the works. They're rebuilding him. Mm, great we surgeons. Do it. We have the technology. Oh. Uh, Jurassic World 2 has been reported to be open source or something like that so we can expect that uh it will be off of the island that the, the dinosaurs will have left the island so we know, what we know what happened last time when they went off the island that's right uh we'll talk more about that later paramount has plans to make a biopic based off of ronda rousey let's just hope it's a little bit longer than 34 seconds Ooh. and the fantastic four reviews are in, and unfortunately, they are not good. So, I want to check those reviews out before you see it. <clears throat> Actually, though, um, there is a little extra piece of news with it. Absolutely. I know where you're going with this. The, and you'll just have to hang on to the end of the video, and we'll tell you about it. Okay? That's right. And, and that's the news. Time for yay or nay. This weekend, the Martian movie starring Matt Damon has released a promo video. And Ryan, you saw the clip with me just a few minutes ago before the show. What are your thoughts? Here are my thoughts about the Martian. Um, I think it's a drama. I'm pretty sure from the concept of the film and the pictures I've seen. I haven't seen like a trailer or anything. I did see this promo video though. The promo video is very hard to take seriously. I don't think it's supposed to be taken seriously. It's kind of funny. They're cracking jokes, which is all right. Um, it features the funny guy from Ant Man. Um, so I it, it's hard to take seriously. This is my concern. Um, I'm gonna give it a nay. Because um, I think that it is too late for this kind of promo. If the movie was seven months away, maybe you could do that. And then kind of get people's attention. Now let's throw in the drama. Let's show the trailers. Let's show the epicness of it. But the movie's in two months. So we have passed this moment of the, the production and the, the promotion of the video. So I'm going to give it an A. I think it's going to be more distracting than helpful. So because I'm with you less than two months away this movie is coming out and why are you giving me a promo video I don't I still don't know anything about the movie I know he's a man on Ma on Mars I need more than that give me something give me a trailer give me a sneak peek into the life of this man not some psychology study that you know after 10 days of isolation I, I I could read that, thank you, but I, that's all I need. It's right. a nay. Give me more. So that's just my <clears throat> thoughts. Next on yay or nay, uh, McAvoy and Fassbender, uh, who play Charles Xavier and Magneto in the new X-Men movies, are done contractually finished after the latest X-Men movie coming out, which is um, Apocalypse, or the, uh, what's it called? Um, X-Men. X-Men Apocalypse, I guess. So um, the question really is, Yay or nay, should they sign on to do more? I am going to give it a big nay for this reason. Um, I think that we're going to be really disappointed with Apocalypse. 
I uh, Days of Future Past was okay, but I wasn't as big on it as you were. I know you really liked it. Uh, I I thought it was okay. I mean, it was better than the third X Men, but it wouldn't take much to beat that. Um, I, I, and so I'm gonna give it a, a nay on that. I think they need to say we're done and let um, the studio work it out and realize some things. So you go ahead. I'm gonna give it a nay as well. I don't think they as much as McAvoy and Fassbender brought the franchise back to mm-hmm. its glory. Um, I want to, I want it to revert back to Matt Marvel. And yes, this is me being a little selfish, but Marvel has not disappointed us yet. Knock on wood, but X Fox has disappointed us several times. And from what I'm hearing over, on the fantastic over, four, over. yeah, they're going to disappoint us again. Well, so they did bring us Deadpool. They, they brought us Deadpool, but the only one that we've seen so far are the trailer to the trailer so far. And I I trust Ryan Reynolds. I don't trust Fox. Right. So, And they've only given him a little bit of budget. So, nay for me. It's nay. Okay. Jurassic World open source. Now, we talked about this in the news. This is the idea here, as the director and writer of Jurassic World said, he had the idea of what if... It wasn't just the company that owns the island. What if it's other companies that have discovered how to create dinosaurs? Mm-hmm. What happens then? So take that out. You know, like it's other companies that could use it for not just weaponizing it, but, you know, energy or something. Who knows? Honestly, I've been thinking about it, trying to wreck my brain. I don't know how you could use a dinosaur for anything but money or weapon. So, but, you know, it's a good concept. My my personal thought is nay, mainly because he's just doing it because he thinks it'll get old, and that's for, direct quote was he thinks it'll get old after a while to have dinosaurs chasing people on an island. But my my uh, defense of that is, is we've had four movies and we've all loved those four movies that have had people on islands chasing by dinosaurs. So it's a nay for me on this whole open source dinosaur concept. Just keep to the tried and true method of dinosaurs on an island chasing people yeah i'm gonna give it a big nay um for the simple fact that uh jurassic park movie is essentially a jaws movie it's a creature that is hunting the hunter basically and something that you're out of your element so you're trapped on an island in which you can't get to people to help you um, Jaws was you're in the water and you can't get to shore before the shark eats you or you're on a boat, you know. Um, so I think it's a big nay for me for that reason um, because the formula works. I mean, Jurassic Park 2 and 3 weren't good, but I still uh, paid to see it in the theater when I was a kid, bought the VHS, bought the DVD, and then bought the uh, digital copy off of uh, iTunes. So I would say two and three are probably still fairly successful in that sense that they're still making money. Oh, absolutely. Uh, also along with the toys and the merchandise and all that stuff. So um, I say nay. Leave it alone. Once people get tired of seeing dinosaurs on an island, just stop making them for another ten years and then come back and make three more of that their dinosaurs on an island. Because yeah. the, the moral of the story is I want to see a dinosaur done well on TV, and I don't really care if he's on an island chasing people. It's true. Same here. And that's yay or nay. Hey, Steven. Hey, Ryan. What's new this week? Well, opening this week in the theaters near you are two movies. Well, we're actually having more than that, but we're only going to talk about the Fantastic Four movie and Shaun the Sheep. Now, Fantastic Four is about four individuals that have um, teamed up with this organization that sends them and they're able to go interdimensional and they get they get superpowers and then when they get back they're so powerful that the american government finds them uh, valuable and so they become superheroes for hire and um it's the fantastic four just say it's fantastic four well it's fantastic four but some people might not know what fantastic four is the reviews again. The reviews are rough, but Ryan, what are your ratings for seeing this? I'm movie? giving it a reluctant four star, and let me tell you why. Because I'd probably give it a three star because it's an action movie. It needs to be seen in the theaters if you're going to see it at all, and uh, so I'd give it a three star. However, there is a rumor. Here is the what we've been holding out on you. The Deadpool trailer is going to be before the Fantastic Four movie. So that was the bit of information from the beginning of the show, which we'll just stick around for. 
and that means that you will be able to see the the Deadpool trailer on the big screen, all the big bang action uh, before the Fantastic Four. So that alone in itself is probably worth the money to go to the theater for me at least. And so I will go um, this weekend, opening weekend. So it earns a four star because it got lucky. Yeah. By virtue, it gets four because we're going to see the Deadpool trailer. But if I had a choice, I'd probably give it a three. So I'm going to give it a total of 3.5. Um, the reviews knocked this down from a five to a four. And then honestly, if from the, the reviews, if the Deadpool wasn't before, I probably would have just rented it. So, it probably would have gone down to a two star. Unfortunately, I'm with you there. The reviews are really rough. I recommend you go read them because I'll tell you right now. The Hollywood Reporter, the Variety, I mean, you name it. Don't all get the your big, hopes up. Do not get your hopes up. And maybe that's a te- technique that we're it's going to work for us in the long right. run. But I'm just <laughs> nervous about it. I've been nervous about it since day one. But, all right. So The other movie is Shaun the Sheep. Uh, Shaun the Sheep is a kids' TV show, claymation, makers of uh, Wallace and Gromit and some others. Uh, what was it? Chicken Run. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's basically the farmer from Shaun the Sheep gets <laughs> the sheep accidentally looks like sends him into town and his camper, and so they have to go save him, and so all the sheep go to town, and it looks funny, hilarious. I'm gonna give it a three star because I'll take my son to see it, and it'll be a great movie time for the family. It looks like. I'm going to give it a two-star, mainly because I don't have anybody to take. Sad day. We all know. It's gonna, Ryan's going to make fun of me about that. But <laughs> but it's just a two-star. I'm going to watch it on Netflix or on DVD at some point. So that's, that's my rating. All right. That's all for us this week on the ADD Catastrophe. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing below. And if you have any questions, feel free to email us at addmovieshow at gmail.com and we might even answer the question on the show. Ooh. Or you can hit us up on the various social medias at addmovieshow. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Stephen Witten. And I'm Ryan Ramsey. And until next time, enjoy, enjoy the, the movies. movies.